Hey everyone, welcome back to another update about the Pokemon bans. Now it looks like there have been some specific targeting going on by Nintendo or Pokemon regarding the actual bans. I was on the phone to Nintendo for about an hour and I spoke to about three or four different people and I got a lot of valuable, useful information for all of you guys. Now the valuable information I'm going to be giving in this stream is particularly useful to other YouTubers or Twitch streamers who actually do this because it has happened to me. Now, I know all of this from experience. So let's get into all the exact details really quick. It seems that as of today, they have actually started targeting Korean content creators for permanent bans. Now these bans are different to the bans you actually saw before, where you were not able to use your Pokemon home for a certain thing. This message is different. This is error 21244607, okay? This is a whole different ball game that a lot of people do not have compared to the other, I suppose, bans that you have seen in my other video. Let's just have a quick look at what the other bans are first. This is the error a lot of people are getting on Pokemon Home, and Pokemon Home only by the way, not Pokemon Sword and Shield. This is the error that most of you guys are going to be getting if you actually happen to have Pokemon with .com names. Uh, they are different bans from the ban that I have gotten right here. This is a console ban, but also an account ban on my Pokemon Home for having a lot of unreleased shiny hacked Pokemon in my system. I had over 1,800 hacked Pokemon, or well, uh, shinies, on my uh, on my actual Pokemon home. Oh, not all of them were hacked, but uh, there was a ton of them that were, and a lot of them were unreleased as well. I had Shiny Marshadows, Zacian, Zamazenta, all these things in there, Keldeos, and boxes full of them too. So I have to say and stress, like I said in my previous videos about how to protect from any bans yourselves, is to get rid of any unreleased hacked Pokemon, as well as any of the .com Pokemon, okay? Those .com Pokemon were the ones I posted in my protection video. I will show you them again. That is these Pokemon right here, guys. You need to get rid of any Pokemon with these names. I'm now no longer going to recommend that you actually try to fix them. I was going to come up with a video with how you can fix those Pokemon instead or replace them. That would be okay, but I think it's just better to just release them. Many of you guys will have lots of shinies. Not all of them are going to be these. I recommend just getting rid of any of these with these names or anything similar that also is .com or .net or .org. Work. If you happen to have any Pokemon with the name listed here, you really need to remove those too. I highly recommend releasing them, guys. It's very important you do so because they are now starting to unroll, uh, I suppose, bans for the game. Uh, however, they have only started targeting YouTubers like myself, which I'll get into in a second. So, if you have these Pokemon, check your Pokemon Home, check your Pokemon Sword and Shield, and if you have any Pokemon with this name that is shiny, you have to release it, guys. And when you're going through that list, guys, just to be extra clear, the shiny Zygarde that's on the list is the Power Construct Zygarde. It specifies it's not from this event. This is an event Zygarde that we are currently giving out and still giving out, and that is safe. So guys, it does turn out that after having spent an hour talking to Nintendo myself, uh, I've actually got learned a lot of very useful details. This band that I just showed you applies to YouTubers or content creators only, okay? The other bands that we showed you at the beginning of the video, or the earlier in the video, was actually for many players who just happened to have hacked Pokemon, and not all of those bands were permanent. I've seen the lowest number I've seen is 12 hours for the bands for players that I just showed you, and I have heard over 24 hours, so we're gonna still have to wait and see for how long these, these could be up to a week. We're just gonna wait and see how long these bands are going. But as you can see here, guys, I'm also able to not able to connect to my main game on Pokemon Sword and Shield as well, because I have been hard banned on my console and my account in home in particular on Pokemon Sword and Shield and Pokemon Home only, all right? So I'm still able to use my account and use my Nintendo Switch online to go online in any other games that are not Pokemon right now, uh, not these two in particular. I've only been banned on these two. So it also, just worth noting, guys, I haven't been banned from Let's Go Pikachu, okay? I haven't been banned from there, so we can start doing some cool shiny hunting there if you want. But I haven't been banned on these. I've tested them, guys. These are fine. I've only been console banned on these two. And I have specifically specifically been bad because I've done stuff like this on YouTube publicly. I called Nintendo and I actually spoke to them and they had notes underneath the banning for these two apps that it was something to do with YouTube. I actually contacted Nintendo America so that I, could, I talked to them in English and they were only able to see my Nintendo America account, which is this one. But because I'm banned on all the accounts, 
uh, just console ban for these two apps. It applies to all the accounts. So they were able to tell me exactly what was going on there. The notes that the Japanese company left were in Japanese, but they did have the English YouTube added to those notes. And I'm not the only one. This is the same ban uh, for the a Korean equivalent of me, essentially. He is a Korean YouTuber who does the exact same stuff as I do. And he got the exact same treatment. So it looks like they're targeting content creators right now. So if you're players, you're absolutely safe as long as you take my advice from my protect video, which means getting rid of any unreleased shinies and the dot com, uh, dot com name shinies. Just get rid of them, guys. That's just it, because then you'll be safe, all right? More information regarding the ban. I do have alts, especially for Pokemon Home. I have alt accounts that I have used, particularly on this one, for example. So why I know it's an account ban is because I actually use my main Pokemon Home account on my home, my phone right before I swapped over some stuff. It was banned on my phone too. It's an account ban for Pokemon Home. As for Pokemon Sword and Shield, guys, it's actually a console ban. So if I buy a new console, I'll be able to go online with my alt account, my other Nintendo account here, which I have now added a Nintendo Switch Online to, and be able to play the game just fine. And I'm able to use Pokemon Home on my alt account just fine on my phone. So that is safe. That seems to be all good, all dandy, and I'll be able to use it going forward from here. So there shouldn't be too much of an issue with that uh, when I get a new console. I'm hoping that they do announce a Switch Pro, hopefully this month or next month, so we can do that. But I'm not gonna be able to do those giveaways sitting here anymore, but we will still continue giveaways with legit, uh, with the legit event Pokemon that we've collected. We'll be able to do those via bots as well, so they should be all safe. So guys, that's really it. There's a little bit of funny, interesting information about Nintendo that I would just like to add at the end. It seems that when you call them up for support, they take some information like your name and your, your number and your email address sometimes. If you're actually on the phone talking to them, they'll take your email again and your name. But they use that to add, the, add you to the system. However, it seems that I spoke to four people and it seems that they use four different systems are three different systems at least because every each person was not able to pull up my information after somebody else before them had actually added it. But they were not able to add my emails either because it counted as duplicate emails. So the system stopped that. So their systems are a mess. They're wildly outdated. One girl's computer froze for a few minutes. It's just, they're, they're, they're just not able to do anything over there, guys, because their systems and their software and the hardware are just completely outdated, and it takes a really long time to try and get around to stuff. If you want to try and get unbanned, if you get a banning like this one that I just showed you and you want to get unbanned, you're not going to be able to. This code, they're under strict sort of guidelines to not unban people with this code. However, they do have the power to. That was something that was clarified to me, okay? They do have the power to. They just won't unless you're able to bribe them or something. I didn't bother trying to bribe them. I'm just going to buy a new console. It's probably cheaper. So that's it, guys. That's just something worth noting. If you're just a regular player who did get the other ban that I showcased in the beginning, uh, you should be fine. You should It should probably get undone. You should have no problem swapping accounts. Your game should be unaffected as well. Different things like that. So don't worry too much yet. We're going to continue the dialogue with people in my community to see what these bans are doing, how long they're lasting, and so on. I'm also going to be on the hunt for people who got this ban similar to me to see more information about about it, see how many people are affected. But it does look like this ban in particular targets YouTubers only, all right? Maybe Twitch people as well. A lot of Twitch guys have a couple of multiple, like multiple switches. So I think that's just a matter of time. These of course are ongoing and they're rolling out. So we'll just see about that soon. Guys, thanks for watching. I look forward to rebuilding my collection all the way from the ground up with my Pokemon home new pokemon home empty with just a pikachu in it that's gonna be fun and um, <laughs> we'll see about the national decks and possible another remake coming or next gen you never know anyway thanks everybody for watching and like i said don't forget to release the unreleased shinies it's really worth it to do it now the reason i was banned even though i gave all the videos about warning it was because i still didn't i still didn't release them i was a little slow or a little lazy on that and uh, i actually also kind of wanted to test the waters regarding that so anyway i did it for you guys I took the bullet but i thought you all deserve to know regardless even though it's not the most favorable information thanks for watching guys i will see you guys around in the next video till then bye